Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Um, so if you guys saw in the title, uh, today we are just previewing the Eldora Dirt Million. Um, it's very exciting. Um, racing starts today, qualifying and uh, twin 12,500 to wins or. I think that's what I saw for tonight. Um, and then the the big race is tomorrow. It's very exciting stuff. Um, I have a few favorites to win. Or at least people who could at least make... You know, the main event. You know, the, the big million dollar race. It hasn't been done in 20 years. Um, it's probably going to be one of the biggest races of um, at least my lifetime. Um, yeah, just exciting. I wish I was going, but unfortunately I got too much stuff going on here. Um, I got family here this week visiting as well, so yeah, I'm gonna be watching as much as I possibly can on my phone on the on the Flow Racing app. Um, not a sponsor, but if Flow wants to, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> um, all right, as you can see, I already got started in this race. It's gonna be a long race, it's a full sixty lapper here at Eldora. I figure I just make a, you know, just one long Eldora late model race. Because <laughs> why not? Um, this is an SRX. I mean, I could have done this in, like, NASCAR Heat 5 or something. Um, probably something I would have been a little more comfortable with. But this is okay change my paint scheme up a little bit for this. Yes, I just spun somebody out. Um, I kind of like this paint scheme. A lot better than the ugly one I had before. Figuring things out. That's all good. Um, but I guess let's get into this preview. Um, Alright, so I'm looking at the entry list as of uh, June 6th, so yesterday, if you're watching this, there's like 116 entries. Uh, that's very exciting. I'm just going to go through the list here and kind of, I don't know, say a little something. <laughs> uh, depending on the driver, obviously. Um, people to watch out for, whatnot. I'm not going to read like every single driver, I'm just going to, uh, drivers of note. <laughs> um, obviously number one is Scott Bloomquist. I mean, how can he not make the, the main event? Um, he's actually been looking pretty decent this year. I know he's kind of in a, a slump, um, especially after his motorcycle crash a couple years ago. He's not really been the same, but uh, he's been close at a couple races this year. And I mean, he made the <laughs> main event at the last couple Eldora races he's entered. So, um, might be a sleeper. I don't think he'll actually win, but he's... <laughs> Weird to say Scott Bloomquist is kind of a dark horse to win this year, but <laughs> uh, you never know. Uh, Brandon Shepard's on this list. Um, yeah, he's good. <laughs> um, yeah, we shall see. I mean, he's been running pretty good as of late. But again, he's always quick. Um, and of course, the other one car, Tyler Erb, Turbo. Um, he's been very quick 
at Eldora the last couple of years here. Um, I could definitely see him winning this race. Not just making the final, but... Or, you know, the main. Um, yeah, he's he's been pretty good this year. I believe he's a points leader in uh, the Lucas Oil Series, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, you guys can comment below and let me know. Uh, but last I heard, I'm pretty sure he's running Lucas this year full time. At least currently. Uh, let's see the next notable name. Chubb Frank's a name I recognize. He's pretty good, but I maybe get in through a B main. Um, let's see. Nick Hoffman. Um, he's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure we've seen him in a late model before, but um, he's been tearing it up in that modified this year. Um, might be one to watch out for to at least make the feature. I don't think he'll win, but um, let's see as we go through here. Can never count out Ricky Weiss. Um, Kind of a lock to make the feature. We'll see. Um, yeah. Alright, we'll just keep moving along here. Uh, the 8 car, Kyle Strickler, he's pretty good. Um, he could definitely uh, make a name for himself here. I um, mean, he, he's been looking pretty decent. At these big money events. Um, it might not be like top top of the list. But it, he's at least a mid pack during the, the feature kind of guy. Uh, Devin Moran is definitely a guy to watch out for. I mean his daddy won <laughs> the last dirt million. So um, you never know. He's been running pretty good as of late as well. Another kind of dark horse to win it. Um, let's see. Oh, can't forget the hunt front boy. Uh, Joseph Joyner. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys follow their channel over there. Um, if you haven't, you should do so. They're pretty entertaining. And uh, they are running a brand new car. A brand new capital with a, a J. Dickens motor. Um, I don't know how they don't make the feature unless they've completely missed the setup. Um, if they can make it, I'd say they have kind of a chance. I mean... They're actually going to be in like top notch, top notch, like new, new equipment this time around. So <laughs> hopefully there's not too many bugs with the new car. Uh, yes, I'm spending some time talking about them and I don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of a fan. <laughs> That's okay. Um, all right, we'll just continue to go through this list here. Donnie Schatz has entered. Um, I don't know how good he's going to do. Maybe gets in through like a B main. He's quick, but I don't think he's quite quick enough to make it. Um, even though he is kind of... <laughs> he's Donnie Schatz. I mean, come on. The guy runs all the big races. Doesn't matter what type of dirt it is. <laughs> um, Dale McDowell could definitely uh, raise some eyebrows and I don't even see him as a dark horse. I think he has a pretty legitimate shot at winning. He's been good all year. Kind of the um, good story. I mean 
Yeah, he's got lots going on, and I'm very excited for him. He's been good this year. Uh, Shannon Babb, he's been good in years past. Um, not quite sure if he's a lock to make the feature, but um, he'll be good for sure. Uh, kind of. Oh, Jimmy Owens definitely gonna be right there near the front. Could definitely win this thing. I mean. Guys, there's a lot of people who could win this race. Let's be honest. Um, I'd say there's... And they don't even have to deal with Kyle Larson this week. Um, I I think he's uh, going to a wedding or something like that is what I heard. Instead, which obviously more important. Um... And honestly, I don't think he should run, personally. Just because he is kind of a... Oop, as I crash again. Um, I don't know, I have a bunch of thoughts on him running these super, super big dirt races. I feel like he's kind of taken away some money from some people, although he hasn't really been winning this year. Uh, like last year. But, yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Owens is definitely <laughs> a guy who could definitely win. And then the other 20 car, the 20 RT, Ricky Thornton Jr., he's going to be really good too. Uh, can't count him out. Can't count out Billy Moyer. He's very good as well. Uh, Chris Ferguson. Um, he could have a shot. He's pretty good. Uh, definitely, I would say almost a lock to make the feature. Uh, unless something happens. Um, he's definitely on that list of very good drivers. Um, let's see here. Shane Clanton, he could definitely do some damage. I don't think he'll win, but he'll be near the front, that's for sure. Dennis Serb Jr., also very fast. Um, could have a chance to win. Daryl Lanigan could win. He's very good. Uh, Bobby Pierce, definitely someone to walk out, watch out for. Tim McCready, <laughs> he can be good. If he's on his game, he could have a chance to win. Uh, Kyle Bronson's been good as of late. Uh, Chris Madden has been the best driver, I think, in dirt late model racing in the last year. Um, yeah, he could definitely win. Um, as I go through here, Kyle Hammer maybe could make the feature. Uh, Jonathan Davenport. For sure, a guy to watch out for. Um, he's been pretty damn quick at Eldora, no matter <laughs> how they've prepped the track. He's been near the front just about every time. Um, he's definitely one to watch out for. Uh, let's see, Jeep Fan Warmer could probably at least make the field, probably mid pack. Um, that and I like his name. <laughs> Uh, Hudson O'Neill is definitely a guy to watch out for. He's he could maybe one of the dark horses, but uh, Brandon Overton for sure is <laughs> you know a guy who could definitely win. Um, he's been one of the best the last year or two. Uh, a little bit of a slump from last year. He was very good last year, but. Definitely one to watch out for. Um, I, don't know, I don't really see anyone else on this list. Maybe Ashton Winger to make the feature. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, some pretty cool stuff going on. I'm very excited. That's your little driver preview. And uh, I hope you guys have a great one. My dark, my pick is going to be Jonathan Davenport to win. 
Um, <laughs> and with that, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye. Winner, winner, mac and cheese dinner.